So what happened this week, a couple weeks ago, was that first of all, you had this tremendously expensive bill, which was called stimulus, that I call porculus. It came along. We promised we'd have 48 hours. We did not. It came to the floor. The Republicans voted no on the bill because it was way too much money, but also we didn't even have a chance to know what was in it. But who did know what was in it? Well, certainly, according to ABC, uh, Senator Dodd knew that he had allowed these executives from AIG to have this $165 million in bonuses for shipwrecking their company. Okay? Now what we have going on is... Uh, we find out that in testimony today that the administration knew that that was in the bill. Obviously, they would have probably had some people scan it before the president signed it. So now the, the president, the administration, was aware that this was in the bill, that the executives were going to get their $165 million, that it was put in there by a senator who, by the way, had a three Per, uh, had a, had a, uh, a loan for 3% on his home, who was also one of the, the very first, got more money from AIG than any other congressman. AIG gave him over $100,000 in 08. The only second place contender was the president. So the president and the senator both received over $100,000 from AIG. This amendment was slipped into this bill. And we, of course, didn't know it when we voted no in the bill. And so what's going to happen tomorrow, and I'm going to finish what's going to happen tomorrow and then uh, in, encourage uh, some discussion because this is kind of like a little case study. Because now the Democrats have put this amendment in. These executives are getting their $165 million. And, and the uh, public is going crazy. They're mad. They're ready for somebody's scalp. And so we're going to bring a bill to the floor which is going to say that we're going to tax these executives at a rate of 90%. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So we already knew they were going to get paid, and so now we're trying to somehow put the toothpaste back in the tube. We're going to tax a couple of specialized, specifically named people at 90%, which of course is unconstitutional. How would you like it if somebody could single you out as the only guy in your block and we're going to tax you at 90% but nobody else? It's completely unconstitutional. So they're going to bring a bill to tax these guys at a 90% tax rate, which will make a lot of Americans on the surface think, oh, this is a pretty good idea. And if we vote no because it's unconstitutional, because we took an oath of office to protect the Constitution, we look like we're defending people getting $165 million uh, for crashing this company. So that's a pretty clever thing to do. It's a good diversionary. I thought it was a brilliant piece of strategy to try to cover the fact that the Democrat Party knew that this thing was in the bill all along, did not take any actions. Now people caught them. Now people are mad. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start this unconstitutional policy of taxing somebody. That, that, now the question then becomes, what are the Republicans going to do tomorrow morning? That's going to be an interesting question. 